This video is for everybody who made a build already or if you didn't even make a build yet, you need to see this. All of us made mistakes, but today I'm here to save everybody. You see it's called Remake Build and I'm helping everyone. Slashers, stretches, sinners, it's everybody bro. Dribblers, everybody. Real quick, if you do want to keep making builds on the same account, all you have to do is delete the online stores data and the system save data for the demo and then once you do that you immediately sign out then you click on the demo while you're offline that is the trick and as it's loading when you see the nba logo and the nba nwa logo that's when you just sign right back in and then it'll have that refresh it restarted shout out to my boy ipod for letting me know that but now let's jump into what we did wrong so we can get into making new builds the first most important thing that we was confused on was as you guys can see on the screen my boy orlando in chicago asked mike wayne did the quick draw badge replace being able to choose the speed of our release when picking a jump shot? His answer is yes. Now, if you're confused on who Mike Wang is now, by now, he is an NBA 2K dev. He controls a lot of this stuff with our players, basically. So, everybody needs the quick draw badge. You need it, bro. Or else your jumper will be 100% slow. I guess it's like using a custom jump shot on NBA 2K19 and putting the speed all the way down basically. So you need it. And if you're wondering, should it be Hall of Fame? Should it be gold? We won't really be able to determine which one we want until we get to make a custom jump shot and see how fast a base is already. So think about it. If Aldridge is super fast, then you might only need a gold. You might not need a Hall of Fame. So it's gonna depend on the jumper that you create as a custom and then you gotta determine if you wanted to be super fast or just regular so that's all up to everybody when they choose a quick draw but you don't want to leave it blank and you don't want to not get it since we're basically on topic of jump shots and quick draw we know we need that on let me take you to this selection now he has changed it to where we will no longer be locking our jump shot animations based on height and weight for the final game so don't let that impact your build making decision now if you're confused on that before if you were 6'8 and weighing over 220 pounds you were considered a big because you wouldn't be able to use the custom jump shot creator basically so that was a thing at one point so like people who made stretches like very big like seven foot they would have only had set shots but mike wayne basically took it upon himself to change it to where they can equip everything in case you're mad about that because i know some people is someone asked him why did he do that so he said what is the thought process behind changing your mind about the jump shot lock i think most of us were looking forward to some balance we deserve an answer which is kind of true like that was kind of like the balance thing that we was getting this year but he said it wasn't his choice it was technical reasons out of his control but he said he have a couple of other ideas to help keep stretch bigs in check so that's other people wearing i don't really care what he does to stretch bigs you feel me i'm gonna just enjoy the game regardless so but just a heads up for you stretch bigs out there who really you know worry about that topic moving on to another badge that you might not have knew about which is hot start and what it actually does basically what he's trying to ask is is that first shot on a hot start badge is it can it be a layup and dunk does that count basically and mike wan says no it has to be a jumper so for the people who equipped it hot start the first shot like that shot attempt has to be a jumper and then he basically described the badge hot start kicks in as soon as you make your first shot right but it has to be your first attempt doesn't matter when and we're jumping into another badge that could be on our build that is affecting it which is steady shooter the steady shooter badge will actually lower your open field goal percentage slightly but will mitigate the penalties of shooting contested so like i told y'all from my video from yesterday on my new build i told y'all i'm not getting steady shooter because of the description i read so here's the confirmation because there was a lot of people in the comment section still trying to correct me on steady shooter steady shooter pops up bro every single time yeah i bet it do pop up i bet it's for people who shoot and contest it as you can see you do get that bonus but he literally says steady shooter will actually lower your open field goal percentage slightly why would you want a badge that lower your field goal percentage i don't 
so i'm never getting steady shooter on any of my builds but as far as the hot start mm, i don't think it's worth it to just worry about the first shot since it don't count for dunks and layups so that's two badges right there that you could possibly remove or if you like it you can possibly add it bro now let me jump into a category for my slashes real quick if you're a slasher watching this video or you're somebody who want to dunk somebody asked him what does the driving dunk attribute need to be to get a contact dunk animation to basically like unlock those animations he said you need a minimum of 41 to even consider dunking with people around if you really want to catch bodies he recommends doubling that and equipping contact finisher the actual contact dunk animations unlock all different ratings based on the content so if you confused on what he means he basically saying you need around 41 points minimum on your attributes to consider dunking around with people around you but to actually dunk on people and catch bodies and equip those animations you need to double that and so you need to have at least like a 82 on your driving dunk to actually have that work so this badge is the clutch shooter badge so somebody wanted to know does this badge basically work in a park or is it only for pro-am so his answer was yes so that badge that clutch shooter actually does work in a park but like when you think about park do you really need to make the clutch shot like i don't think i would equip that if i was a park player but i would keep clutch shooter maybe for uh, like if you're a team pro and player or a rec center player and the game is coming down to the wire you really need to hit that shot i would say that but for park i don't feel it is that important but if you just want to get it bronze that's cool i mean that's up to you this is something that's actually very important to me do you guys remember when i created my offensive threat and i was debating if i wanted close shot or not well here's the answer on close shot and how valuable like what it does basically so what does the close shot rating actually affect on your build scoring in that five to ten foot range so if you plan on scoring in that range a lot you will need to increase your shot close but for me and how i want to make my build i don't need shot close so when i remake my play sharp i'm going to have a whole lot of points to put elsewhere now we getting into this other badge nobody really knew the purpose of pogo stick pogo stick basically tells you jump more than once but mike wayne says a defender's impact severely drop as they're coming down from a block attempt and for a moment after landing don't spam blocks this year so if he's telling you you're gonna get penalized for trying to keep you know when you get caught you know you get caught for real and like you just keep jumping 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 well you're gonna get penalized for your stats basically on defense i wasn't getting a pogo stick regardless but i'm just showing y'all that last thing for all the people wondering oh my god i made my bill i don't want this bill because it says i gotta wait until 96 overall to do that or 95 overall to speed boost or 99 overall just to get my contact dunks and stuff like that you're wrong you don't have to worry about that somebody asked him when upgrading our players can we choose what we want to upgrade first or do you unlock what you can upgrade like 19 and 18 his answer was yes you upgrade whatever you want off rip so don't worry about that screen where you gotta scroll up and choose how you want to play a mocker at 99 and you scrolling up and seeing like oh i don't get 86 ball control until that doesn't matter this is just a confirmation because the people in the comment section commenting on my build talking about oh this build worthless because you ain't gonna be able to use it until no you can upgrade your own attributes off rip and you can even change your badges anytime you want but only in the categories when you get an upgrade basically so if you play my career and you get an upgrade for playmaking you can edit the playmaking badges but when you finally max your player out and get all of your badges which will probably most likely be at 95 overall you'll have the opportunity to freely just edit all of your badges so if you don't want to wait until 95 overall to edit all of your badges you can easily just remake your build now wait before then and try to decide what you want or grind your player up and you'll be able to change him later on this is really the last and like the main event of the video this from my boy ronnie and this to show you guys that 2k is working to try to make this one of the best 2k's ever so he said i am seeing the following feedback in my tweets and want to make sure there's nothing else big i forgot 
so what is they about to fix this is going to change everybody's opinion on builds period this these statements mean that every build we didn't made in the demos could possibly be completely pointless why because ronnie is trying to implement us to get customs and more pie charts so a whole custom where you can customize your own pie chart and more pie charts period bro that's crazy you know the possibilities that lead to you know how many builds you can make bro and on top of that they talking about fixing small forwards because you see how the small forwards are basically useless because they're tall now they're about to fix them so with a custom and with small forwards being fixed you can possibly make that point forward from last year i could possibly make a two-way but now he could be uh, a two-way point forward and just have way more defense we can have height so we're going to see what the update is but it's about to get crazy bro it's about to get crazy stamina so i told you on the demo your stamina is low so if your player felt like he was slow or getting tired too fast it wasn't your player it was the game i already told y'all blow buys we already talked about blow buys being fixed but ronnie's still on it hop step dunks currently right now is overpowered so like i said some of y'all making slashers because you could do blow buys and you could do hop step dunk cheese but when the game officially drop you might be changing your build so what i'm trying to say is you can't just go by how you was dominating in the demo bro and then the last thing overpowered screens is being nerfed and that's for people who just you know that go a long way for just like i don't know maybe a lot of people was thinking like they're gonna be doing different type of cheeses if they make this build because they can make a person fall on the ground so supposedly the overpower screen is about to get nerfed um that's a good thing for people who don't like getting hit by screens and that can also alter how we upgrade our pick dodger now if that's going to be nerfed but i would still keep my pick dodger at the level it's at so with all that being said i hope i you feel me helped you guys recreate your builds basically and now it's time for me to recreate i'm gonna start off with the offensive threat i'm gonna recreate that now i wanted to say bro i could easily make this a whole nother video but i'm just here to help people so for the people who are here they gonna see me remake my offensive threat so if all of y'all are noti gang it won't be no problem for you to see how i remade why why show y'all how to change your build if i'm not gonna actually show y'all how i changed mine so this was my original play chart build right here that i chose before let's get into the edits of what we gonna do with it bro now we're gonna look at our physical profile you feel me my best option for me i want to have the 90 speed i want to be as fast as possible so i'm still going with that now if you look at my previous video i made close shot all the way maxed out that was a lot of points added to that but and then i only had these two so now I'm going to leave close shot at zero because I gave y'all the description of what close shot does. And for me and what I'm going to be doing with my play sharp, I don't need close shot at all. For you, you might need close shot. You might be you might be taking, uh, let's say, scoring from five to ten uh, feet away from the basket. So if that's what you want to do, cool. That's your play style. And a lot of people, when they're making this build, a lot of people be trying to get dunking like, like it's a play sharp bro we actually not gonna be dunking bro just like lad we wasn't really like yeah we can dunk but not like a shot creator in 2k19 yeah you can dunk only but when it's wide open you're not really back to back dunking on people so it's like i don't need driving dunk i'm never getting a standing dunk by the way bro remember that these builds are small when you consider some of these attributes bro some of us are six four six three bro like you're not doing none of this you're not doing no post up for the people who be commenting like why did you get free throw that high why did you get post fade on a play chart when you increase certain attributes you get more badge points to get more badges to make you more overpowered bro that's what y'all don't understand so yes when i come to this playmaking category and max out all of these you see how somebody would say don't increase your post moves that's dumb but i only get 19 points on playmaking so if i max out that post move even though i won't be doing it i have the option to get more dribbling badges and that's what you want with this build that's what people don't understand now this interior defense i can literally leave that down if i want but first let me upgrade everything else 
because bro it's a play sharp like i'm really not gonna be in the paint like that i can even not go crazy on blocks if i don't want to but i'm only gonna do this now in this category just to get way more defensive points hold on so instead of that we'll go with interior defense and max that out and we still got two more points so what do i want more importantly I, I'll, I'll do it like this this is straight we'll do it like this and we got seven let me let me mix it around just to check and see if there's any other way okay yo so it's still seven regardless do i want defensive rebounder or offensive let's think about it i shoot the ball my teammate is going to be getting the board um i play good defense I got a possibility of getting the board. So we're going to go with this one. We'll choose defensive rebounding over having offensive rebounding. All right. So we're going with that. Hold on. Make sure. I just want to try to see if it's possible to get more than. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is why we experiment. This is why we experiment. I took away the interior defense since I'm so small and added defensive rebounding only to get more defensive rebounding points. That's what y'all got us to understand. Only to do that, bro only to do that and still going to add four more pellets to it so before somebody say why would you get rebound on your play sharp because i want more defensive points so i can get more defensive badges i hope i explained that well enough all right so i want to show the mistakes obviously that i made in the first build let's let's go to shooting now y'all already know i chose the relentless finisher in the first one because i said that and i changed it to uh the contact i'm going to show y'all what i previously chose for my shooting badges on my first play sharp build and now what i'm going to choose after learning what i know about the game so at first we had bronze catch and shoot bronze difficult shots flexible release i know kind of how that works now so i had that silver green machine i had that bronze corner bronze did a range extender tyler score and look what look what badge i got hall of fame steady shooter a badge i don't even like anymore because i learned what it does in the beginning of this video i told y'all so now we about to switch the whole style up bro so something so far that they didn't fix in the game listen to me there is something that is not only me who noticed even my boy poor boy sin has noticed that when you equip difficult shots it kind of makes you don't be able to plant your feet and you do fadeaways y'all remember on my my two-way playmaker that video yesterday and my first shot in the gameplay was a fadeaway it's because i had on difficult shots and me personally i don't really need difficult shots so i'm not going to get it until they fix that thing that you can fade away uh if you got that on and not be able to plant your feet how you really want to like basically getting a set shot so we not getting this badge now and we not getting steady shooter on hall of fame now with the flexible release i don't need it at all because i am a i'm a strong shooter like i'm going to be getting a lot of green releases so for now i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna just take it off because i really don't need it clutch shooter don't need it corner we might get bronze now let's get our hall of fame did i we know what hot start do that's only for the first shot we good green machine that's if you greening back to back but for me in my opinion if i'm already getting greens i don't want green machine i'm cool on green machine so something we missed on the previous we didn't have quick draw and i'm most likely going to stick with it on gold because i'm thinking about equipping a fast custom jump shot you feel me something super fast base and gold is probably all i need i don't want it to be too lightning speed where it's hard to time it you feel me so i'm gonna go with gold so you guys do gotta change this range extender we're gonna definitely keep that on hall of fame now steady shooter we're not getting that like i said tireless shooter this improves a player ability to make shots when fatigued now because we're dribblers we gotta get that only because i'm saying because we're dribblers bro we're dribblers now we still got five points left and everything is totally different now for the people i had to explain this again bro catch and shoot is only you only get that boost for a short time after you receive the pass so i'm really not gonna be doing that so i can keep that there this volume shooter i didn't get last time is actually fire i didn't get it last time because i didn't read what it does i thought volume shooter was like back in the day but really you get boost you get shot boost from this badge from even missing so it's if you're gonna be shooting a lot and me being a primary ball hander handler guess what i'm gonna be shooting a lot boy so we got that thing on hall of fame now i'm about to get them boost boost now everything else i don't need this is for free throws this is to do glitching back and forth like 
I don't need none of these. So if I want to, I could just get something on bronze for fun, or I could just make that Hall of Fame. Corner specialist, I'm not really going to be shooting from the corner. Catch and shoot, don't need that higher. So maybe I'll try the hot zone hunter and see how overpowered it is to shoot in a spot that keeps you hot. Out of all these badges, that's like the only one. But really, actually, let me get this just for missed time and release. That'll help me even more. That's better than having a hot zone shot when if I happen to miss time my green, y'all know I'm going to get the greens regardless. I got that now. So you see the two difference? You see the side by sides after learning the game, after explaining stuff? Look at my shooting badges now, bro. Crazy. Now we gonna look at the playmaking differences. My previous time creating this build, we had Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Hall of Fame Handles, First Step, Unpluckables Hall of Fame. Then we only had Gold Tight Handles and Gold Stop and Go and Bronze Dimer on our play sharp. So now let's see what we gonna get differently this time. So Ankle Breaker, Hall of Fame. I want this Hall of Fame. I want this Hall of Fame, now that I know what it does. Last time we didn't have Space Creator, bruh. We sold. And I'm thinking this is probably for like, it say getting separation. So if you want to think about maybe like a snatch back and stuff like that, you feel me? I, I go probably good enough. Because when you read it, it says when performing any step back move. So it's all the step back moves or shot. If you do a hop jumper backwards, that's Space Creator. You're going to get a, a big boost. So. I might not even need it this high, but let's see what else. I don't want to get ripped. Boom. I got four points left. I can get this Hall of Fame now. Now, stop and go. I'm not getting this now. It says allows the ball handler to start and stop quickly with unique stops and launches exclusive to this badge. The way I plan on dribbling, I won't need start and stop. But who knows? If I end up wanting to change how I dribble, I might get start stop. But we don't know. So now what i'm thinking about changing we we are still point guards and we do need dimer so i'm thinking about taking this down and taking tight handles down a little bit just so we can get silver dimer for my teammates but side i'm not worrying about my teammates my teammates is goat they can shoot with all these freaking shooting badges they gonna be fine bro they gonna be fine and if i need to alter it i'll alter it you feel me if i need to alter it so what's more important to me breaking down a defender or having space creator let's see the difference so increases a player's ball handling ability damn i'm slurping on the words ball handling ability in size up situations making it easier to break down the on ball defender when you think about size up that make me think of speed boosting and i want that as high as possible bro wow so i'm gonna have increased abilities when it comes to that so now y'all see the side by side y'all see the differences y'all see the badges we got now and the badges we didn't have before Tch, crazy bro i mean hold up y'all see the badges we got now and the badges i did have before my bad i'm tripping so now we finally into the last category bro finally made it to the end defense the first time we only had five points and what we got the first time was gold clamps bronze pick dodger and bronze pickpocket bro that's what we got last time now i learned more about the badges this is the defensive stopper of the game i thought it was clamps but it's not clamps still gonna get clamps because i got the points still gonna get pickpocket still gonna get pick dodger because i'm gonna be getting hit with screens now look i still got three pellets left if i want to lock up even more i can literally I can literally get clamps on gold, bro. I am gonna be an annoying play sharp. Out of all the people y'all watch make videos, nobody did this for their play sharp. Nobody has defense on their play sharp. Just, just, just let me know, tell me. I'm like the only person who actually clear, care about defense. Now, I got the option to either get this silver, pick Dodger silver since people set a lot of screens, or I can go ahead and just add rim protector, but I'm thinking about not adding rim protector just because my blocks is so low. So what's more important to me? Trying to rip the ball? I do got a nice little steal. Or trying to dodge screens? Whew, that's a tough debate. Me, I'm not even worrying about pick dodger too heavily. Why? Because if I really, if it's really that big of a deal, we can make the switch. You feel me? So I'm going to try to be able to rip 
as fast as I mean as much as possible. So we got clamps that lock people up. Intimidator is more like defensive stopper, and none of these really apply to my player. So look, I'm stacked now. I'm different. Look at the differences in my build, bro. We are fire now, bro. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this remake video showing y'all everything that we did wrong, and I'm showing y'all what I'm doing right on this build. Let me know. Y'all literally have to spam this up in the comment section if y'all want me to remake my two-way playmaker after learning what I know now. I don't know if y'all want me to do that. If y'all do want me to do that, I might make the video doing a remake, but, oh, I might just chill. We gonna see, but y'all asked for the long videos, man. This time y'all actually got it. This a long joint right here, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what else y'all want. And like, do y'all like these type of videos where I just talk and help? Are these really helpful? Or am I just talking to waste my time? Let me know if this build, I mean, this video really helped y'all, bro. I'm super dumb sleepy. If you didn't notice my words slurring, but I'm just dropping all these bangers for y'all, man. No sleep, gang. We here. Let's get it.